Hello, everyone. Although not easy, it is a good time to be a Christian. Although not always clear, it's a good time to be Christians on this earth. Throughout the world, there's all sorts of division, chaos, confusion, and perceived hopelessness. And yet, as the people of God, we have a sure foundation as citizens of God's unshakable kingdom. And it's a privilege that we hold the truth and the grace of our Savior as his people. From the start of this season of uncertainty, our goals as leadership can be summed up in these questions. How can we prioritize your growth in Christ and his gospel? How can we care for those suffering loss? How can we leverage our resources and influence to advance the gospel through online platforms locally and globally? How can we keep the most vulnerable among us safe? How can we do our best to keep the church unified? Consider these verses from Hebrews 10. Consider all of the parts of these verses. Let us consider how to stir one another up to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. There's a lot in those verses, but as we consider those verses, they're really good for us as a church because we need each other for this gospel to advance. Whether we meet at the church or online, via Facebook or through Zoom, we value the togetherness of corporate worship and community for the sake of all of our growth in the gospel. We have waited to the final hours this week to confirm plans for Sunday in order to limit the likelihood of Pennsylvania or Allegheny County or the weather impacting our plans. We plan to gather for worship at 5 p.m., one service, at the church or online via Facebook. You choose how you want to participate, but please choose to participate. You can register with the link below, and you can choose to sit on the patio or inside. Pennsylvania has mandated the wearing of masks in public areas until further notice. There are exceptions described in Section 3 of the state's recent mask order. Although this may be less comfortable, in a general sense, it's a small price to pay as we aim to honor scriptures by worshiping the Lord together as his church. Therefore, again, please consider how you participate, whether at the church or through Facebook Live. Either way, let's come together as a church. In the coming weeks, the speeds of our internet and the sanctuary will be increased. And for those of you who are unable to participate, for whatever reason, know that we are working our best to make the streaming experience much more um, beneficial for you to hear and to see what's going on. It is a privilege to walk with you through this journey, regardless of all the circumstances that come our way. Remember that we have the hope in Christ, and you and I have the privilege to worship Him together as His people. Looking forward to connecting with you soon. Take care.